Good evening, everybody. How are you? Good evening, good evening teacher. Hi, good to see you. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, everybody. Hi. Okay. Let us begin. Comencemos. Okay. Um, as usual, I have to call the attendance now. So just give me a second. Just a moment. Um, just a just a second, please. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. When you hear your name, please. Let me know you're here. Ada Veronica Muñoz de Fuentes. Present teacher. Thank you. Alexis Giovanni Ramos Rosales. Present teacher. Thank you. Alicia Perez Gavidia. Present teacher. Thank you. Blanca Esmeralda Flores Ortez. Blanca Esmeralda Flores Ortez. Present. Thank you. Cecilio Antonio Cortez Escobar. Present teacher. Thank you. Consuelo Enriqueta Aquino de Salazar. Consuelo Enriqueta Aquino de Salazar. Delmi Alexandra Ramos Cruz. Delmi Alexandra Ramos Cruz. Idalia Margarita García Cruz. Present. Thank you. Isaac Adbonay Tobar. Isaac Adbonay Tobar. Jennifer Nuset Arevalo Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Antonio Brand de Paz. Thank you. Catherine Andreina Perez Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Alfredo Aguilar Beltrán. Luis Alfredo Aguilar Beltrán. Luis Enrique Palma Alvarado. Luis Enrique Palma Alvarado. Luis Josué Valle Hernández. Luis Josué Valle Hernández. Ni un Luis. Ok. María Magdalena Méndez. Méndez. Teacher. Dígame. Teacher. Este, no voy a poder estar en la clase ahora, pero después la voy a ver. Estoy a medio de un parto. Entonces no, no puedo conectarme y ahorita vamos a proceder. Dele, dele. <laughs> Thank you. Bueno, pero se conectó, así que vamos a poner Oscar Alexander era, ¿verdad? No, hay dos Oscar, ¿cuál de los dos Oscar era? <laughs> no me fijé. Bueno, ahí lo voy a ver en la grabación. Vamos a ponerle acá un signo de interrogación porque no estoy seguro. La grabación se verá. Ok, uh, Luis Alfredo, no, perdón, María Magdalena Méndez Méndez. Hola, hola. Luis Alfredo ya está por acá. María Magdalena también ya está por acá. Thank you. Marina Amaya de Mata. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Marjorie Marilyn Martínez Grijalva. Present. Thank you. Miguel Antonio Rodríguez Rosales. Miguel Antonio Rodríguez. Nelson Eduardo Alfaro Roque. Present. Thank you. Oh, oh. ¿Quién me dijo ahí present? Nelson, ¿verdad? Miguel. Aquí está. Ok, thank you. Okay, present. Uh, 
Thank you, Miguel. No es Ezequiel Rivera Medrano. Present. Thank you. Olivia Raquel Rodríguez Benítez. Present. Thank you. Oscar Alexander Domínguez Herrera. No. Oscar Mauricio Rivera Aguilar. Bueno, uno de estos dos Oscar dijo que tenía que encargarse ahí de un parto. No sé cuál de los dos era. Y lo veremos después en la grabación. Pablo Josué Cornejo Ramírez. O oh, si se conecta el otro Oscar, eso nos va a ayudar también. Pablo, thank you. Stephanie Brenda Lee Vázquez Méndez. Stephanie thank Brenda you, Lee. Teacher. Okay, thank you very much. I'm calling those who haven't responded. Consuelo Enriqueta Aquino de Salazar. Consuelo Enriqueta Aquino de Salazar. Delmi Alexandra Ramos Cruz nos dice por acá en el chat que ya está acá. Isaac Adbonay Tobar. Isaac Adbonay Tobar. Dice Luis Josué Valle. Ya está por acá también. Ok. Luis Enrique Palma Alvarado. Luis Enrique Palma Alvarado. No. Ok. We begin. Everybody, welcome. This is Inglés Pre-Intermedio, Módulo 1, and that's me, Ivan Doñan, at your service once again, and this is session 10. Today is June the 6th of 2023. Okay. So what are we going to do today? We have a review. Tenemos un repaso. Okay, present simple questions. Remember, we use do and does in present simple questions. Remember the affirmative form is I work, you like, we do, they have, etc., etc. When the subject is he, she, or it, the verb changes a little bit and you say he works with an S, she likes with an S also, she does, he S, it has, and it changes completely. So remember that this occurs in affirmative sentences and only with the subjects he, she, or it. Solamente si la oración es afirmativa y solamente si el sujeto es he, she, or it. But what about the question? In the question, you have to use do and does. That's Those are the auxiliary verbs. You use do with I, you, we, and they, and you use does with the subjects he, she, and it. And after that, you need to use the verb in base form, base form only. So you say, do you work? Does he work? Do they have? Does she have? Etc. Nunca me digan, does she has? ¿verdad? Porque eso ya no sería la forma base del verbo. Do you play the guitar? Remember, you use do with I, we, you, and they. Like, do they like music? And you use does with the subjects he, she, and it. Does he like music? The word order, remember, right? You have do and does, then the subject, and then the verb in base form. Do you play the guitar? Do your friends live near here? Does Chris work on Sundays? Does it rain a lot here? These are yes, no questions, because you can answer them by saying yes or no. For example, do you play the guitar? You say, yes, I do, or no, I don't. Do your friends live near here? You can say, yes, they do, or no, they don't. Does Chris work on Sundays? Yes, he does, or no, he doesn't. Does it rain a lot here? Yes, it does, or no, it doesn't. But then you have information questions or WH questions. What happens with these questions? You can't use yes or no to answer these questions because it's not logical. Instead, you need specific information. For example, when they ask you where, where, they need to know a place. So where do your parents live? You say, ah, my parents live in Sonsonate. My parents live in Zacateculuca. My parents live in Soyapango, etc. How often? This is a question word or a question expression that um, requires frequency as an answer. They want to know the frequency. So how often do you wash your hair? You say, ah, well, I wash my hair every day. You can also say, see, I'm going to let this just a moment. Okay. So you can also say, I wash my 
my hair every other day. What's the meaning of every other day? ¿Qué significa every other day? Do you know? What is every other day? Every, Juan Antonio. Eh, todos los días. Mm, no, no really. That is every day. <laughs> Luis Josué. Otro día. Mm, no, not exactly. Ok, Nelson y luego Jennifer Nusset. Nelson. Un día, sí, un día, ¿no? Correct. Ok, one day, yes. The next day, no. Ok, that's correct. Every other day means un día sí, un día no. Ok, so se puede utilizar también con otras expresiones como every other week. Una semana sí, una semana no. You can say every other month. Un mes sí, un mes no. Every other year. Un año sí, un año no. And so on. Okay. So every other means uno sí, uno no. So I wash my hair. You can say every day. Todos los días. I wash my hair every other day. Un día sí, un día no. So yeah. What does this word mean? ¿Qué significa esta palabra? Okay, you need specific information to answer that. And how much does it cost to fly to Puerto Rico? Okay, so how much does it cost to fly to Puerto Rico? So, um, alguien por acá se me ha conectado con un Huawei. Okay, si nos hace el favor ahí de poner su nombre completo, eso es eh, bien importante. So these are information questions or WH questions. Now, questions with always and usually, questions with adverse of frequency, well, you need to use the adverse of frequency before the verb, before the main verb. Does Chris always work on Sundays? Always? What do you usually do on weekends? Okay, so you can see it right here. The adverb frequency comes before the main verb, va antes del verbo principal, okay? And there's the expression, what do you do? Which means, what is your job? What do you do? I work in a bank. The short answers, remember, when you have a yes, no question, like, do you play the guitar? Do your friends live near here, etc.? You can answer them by using short answers. You say, yes, I do, yes, you do, yes, we do, yes, they do, yes, he does, yes, she does, yes, it does. Give me a moment, please. Okay. You can also use it in negative form. You say, no, I don't, no, you don't, no, we don't, no, they don't, no, he doesn't, no, she doesn't, no, it doesn't. Examples, do you play the guitar? No, I don't. Do your parents speak English? Yes, they do. Does Ryan work hard? Yes, he does. Does your sister live in Vancouver? No, she doesn't. And we did this exercise, so we're not going to repeat it. Uh, and also we completed this exercise. Okay, so we're not going to repeat it either. And now we're going to do this exercise right here. Present simple questions. Now, write questions with do or does. Cuidado acá, ¿verdad? Porque van yes, no questions, así como information questions. It's a conversation, okay? So, he is asking a question, she gives an answer. After that, he asks a different question, she gives an answer. Sigamos la lógica de la conversación, ¿verdad? Lo que él pregunta, bueno, lo que ella responde más, más bien, nos va a decir qué pregunta le está haciendo. Y también nos puede ser, puede ser un indicativo de la siguiente pregunta. Ok, así que mucho cuidado. La clave está en lo que ella contesta. So, it says, I work in a bookstore. What is the question? Catherine Andreina. What do you work? What do you work? Mm, not exactly. It's a bit different. But thanks for your participation. Luis Alfredo. 
What do you do? What do you do? That is correct. Remember the question, what do you do, means what is your occupation? I'm going to show you. Look. Over here. What do you do means what is your job or what is your occupation? What do you do? I work in the bank. So it's the same right here. What do you do? I work in a bookstore. Okay, so uh, we have some chat entries. Uh, okay. Uh, number two, Idalia Margarita. What I wore in the morning. But that's number three. We need number two. Uh -huh. uh, do you? Uh, no. Va bien, va bien, va bien. Uh -huh. Do you? Do you eat? No. Do you? No, le falta el verbo. Do you? You have do to choose you, from the box. Do, do, enjoy, do go. You, do, you go, do you go eat? No. Do you? Do you go eat? Do you go eat? Uh -huh. mm, no, it's a different verb. Okay. But thank you for your participation. Catherine and then Marina. Okay, Catherine. Uh, do you like it? Do you like it? And she says, it's okay. Okay, do you like it? It's okay. All right, so um, here we go. Marina, uh, I believe. Okay, number three. Marina? What time? What time do you in the morning? What time do you? And But you need to use one of the verbs. Ahí le falta el verbo. What, what, do you, do you go? What, the, what time do you go in the morning? What time do you go in the morning? And not really. It's a different verb. But thank you for your participation. Okay. Okay. Um, who has the answer? Recordemos que cuando concluye nuestra participación podemos bajar la mano también. Okay. Para que no se acumulen las manos levantadas, después me cuesta ver quién está, quién quiere participar. Okay. Pablo Josué. What time start in the morning? Okay, pero le faltó ahí palabras muy what clave. Do you start? Aha. What time do you start in the morning? And she says at nine. Okay, great. Imagínense empezar a las nueve de la mañana. Un trabajo así quisiera yo. Okay, what time do you start in the morning? At nine. Luis Alfredo, number four. Uh, the microphone, Luis. Excuse me. Uh, do you work on Saturdays? Do you work on Saturdays? And she says, sometimes. Some. Okay. Thank you, Luis. Number five. Number five. Marjorie. How do you go to work? How do you go to work? Okay, and she says, usually by bus. Thank you, that's correct. Number six, and your husband? What's the question? Miguel Antonio. Do what do the teacher do? Mm, no, sorry, it's 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 different. But okay. thank you, Miguel, Luis Alfredo, and your husband. What does he do? What does he do? Correct. That's que sería do. como la primera, si ustedes se fijan, que es What do you do? I work in a bookstore. What does he do? He's a teacher. Es la misma pregunta, solo que ahora el sujeto es he. Por eso ocupamos does. What does he do? He's a teacher. Okay, thank you. Number seven. Number seven.
Who knows? Pablo. What does he teach? What does he teach? That's correct. Very good. Science. Very nice. And the last one. Ada Veronica. Does he enjoy the job? Correct. Okay. Does he enjoy his job? <laughs> yes, he loves it. Okay. Es que como me lo dijo la respuesta así con suspenso. Bien pausada las palabras, tenía que ponerle suspenso yo también. Sorry. Does he enjoy his job? Yes, he loves it. Okay, that is correct. Idalia, do you have a question? No, okay. So, does he enjoy his job? Yes, he loves it. Okay, there you go. This is a, this is a good exercise to practice, do and does to practice the question form in present simple. But there is another exercise. Look. Present simple questions, write short answers. Yes, he does. No, I don't, etc. etc. Now, um, I want you to give me true answers. Quiero que me den respuestas verdaderas. Okay. Short answers only. Short answers. For example, do you watch TV a lot? If you watch TV four hours a day, maybe yes, I do. If you don't watch TV a lot, maybe you watch TV once or twice a week, you say, No, I don't. In my case, for example, I say no. I don't. I don't have time. <laughs> That's the problem. Okay, so um, what about number two? I need a volunteer. Respuestas verdaderas, por supuesto, ¿verdad? No me voy a mentir. Uh -huh. Number two. Marjorie. Do you live in a big city? Do you live no, in a big city? No, I don't. Okay, all right. You can say yes, I do, or no, I don't. All right, good. Luis Alfredo, number three. Do you ever ride a bike? No, I don't. Okay, no, I don't. All right, very honest. Number four. Who wants to try? Maria Magdalena, does it rain a lot where you live? No, I don't. Ah, be careful. Look, does it rain a lot where you live? Ah. Uh, mm -hmm. No, I, I doesn't. Okay, mejor, pero el sujeto no es I. Does, let's see, does it rain a lot where you live? Entonces, uh, no, I does it. Uh, pero cuidado, no utilizamos I porque no es usted el sujeto. Ah, ok, ok. Ah, entonces, el sujeto es it. Does it rain a lot where you live? Sería entonces? No, does it. Ok. Mm, let's see, maybe Olivia can help us here. Olivia Raquel? Does it rain a lot where you live? No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Okay. The correct form should be no, it doesn't. Could be yes, it does, or the negative, no, it doesn't. Okay. Thank you for your participation, uh, Olivia and Maria Magdalena. What about number five? Okay, Luis Alfredo, do you play the piano? And then Marie, Marina Maya. Yes, I do. Oh, really? Yes. Nice. Okay. I am a musician. Day. Okay. You're a musician? Yes. Yes. Artist. Do you do you do you play in a band? In a band in an orchestra. In an orchestra. Oh my god. Yes. Wow. Maybe yes. one day, maybe one day you can do a demonstration. Uh, <laughs> Okay. okay, nice. Marina Maya. Uh, sorry. 
Okay, M Marina Maya, what about number six? Does your best friend like rock music? No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Okay, okay, nice. No, he doesn't. Very good. Thank you, Marina. Number seven. Who can answer this one, please? Number seven. Isaac. Adonai, la vamos a poner aquí que ya vino también. Gracias. Okay, uh, do, do you play do you play volleyball? Uh, no, I don't. No, I don't. Okay, thank you. Uh, uh Veronica, number eight. Do you live in an apartment? No, I don't. I no, live I don't. in a home. I live in a house. You in can a say. house. In a house. Okay, I live in a house. Okay, good. Thank you, Ada. And the last one. Who knows? Who can answer this? Miguel Antonio, do you wash your hair every day? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, good. All right. Nice. We continue. Okay, now, I, I want you to take a look at this. Esto es parte también de la explicación anterior. Give me a moment, please. This should not be here. Okay. If we go back, si regresamos a lo que vimos ayer, teníamos esto. Okay, so yes, no, and WH questions we do. Ya hicimos la práctica. Es mucho mayor que lo que aparece en este cuadrito, ¿verdad? And then we have object pronouns. Me, you, him, her, it, us, and them. We're going to study that right now. Ahorita vamos a ver eso. So look. Sorry, I have to get there. Okay. So object pronouns. Le voy a pasar esto aprovechando. Just, um, I'm going to uh, share it with you via WhatsApp. Bring your immediate one. Object pronouns. Okay, you have it on WhatsApp now. So object pronouns, look. There are two types of pronouns, okay, in a sentence. Well, there are more types of pronouns, but the ones we're going to study right now are subject and object. We know the subject pronouns, okay? Subject pronouns, we have studied them before. I'm going to give them to you here. Subject pronouns, you have object pronouns. So subject pronouns include, say in this case, I, you, oops, you, he, he, sorry, my typing is bad today, she, it, we, and they. Okay, those are the subject pronouns. But then we have something we call object pronouns. For I, the subject pronoun I, the, the object pronoun is me. For the subject pronoun you, the object pronoun is also you. It's the, the, the spelling is the same, okay? For the subject pronoun he, the object pronoun is him. For the subject pronoun she, the object pronoun is her. For the subject pronoun it, the object pronoun is also it. It's the same spelling. For the subject pronoun we, the object pronoun is us, okay? And for the subject pronoun they, the object pronoun is them, okay? So you have subject pronouns and you have object pronouns. Son dos tipos de pronombre ahí. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Ya, vamos a ver. So look, you have this guy. Subject pronoun I, object pronoun me. Subject pronoun we, object pronoun us. Subject pronoun you, object pronoun is also you. Subject pronoun he, object pronoun him. Subject pronoun she, object pronoun her. Subject pronoun they, object pronoun them. So how do we use them? It's easy. Look. We have the subject and then the object. You say, for example, I know Sandra. Yo conozco a Sandra. I know Sandra. We know Sandra. You 
know Sandra. He knows Sandra. She knows Sandra. Ella conoce a Sandra. They know Sandra. Ellos conocen a Sandra. Y Sandra nos conoce a todos nosotros. Así que decimos, Sandra knows me. Sandra me conoce a mí. Sandra knows us. I'm going to zoom out. Take a look. So you say, I know Sandra. Y Sandra me conoce a mí. Sandra knows me. That's the object pronoun. We know Sandra. Sandra knows us. You know Sandra. Sandra knows you. He knows Sandra. Sandra knows him. She knows Sandra. Sandra knows her. They know Sandra. Sandra knows them. Así a primeras, ¿quién me puede decir cuándo se ocupan los object pronouns? Según lo que pueden observar acá, cuando se utilizan los object pronouns, me, us, you, him, her, them. Who knows? Noé dice después de un sustantivo. Mm, not really. En realidad no. Idalia. Para indicar posesiones. Para indicar posesiones, no. Para indicar posesiones utilizamos los possessive adjectives. Ah. Los cuales hay uno que es igualito, que es her. Ah. Pero ahí los demás son diferentes. Ada Verónica. Eh, Cuando no están presentes. Cuando no están presentes. No, not really. Sorry. Ajá. ¿Quién da más? Ok, so, uh, Pablo Josué. Como en tercera persona. Not necessarily. Porque podemos ocupar subject pronouns también en tercera persona. Ajá. Who else? But thank you, everybody. Thank you for your participation. Por lo que pueden ver ahí. Fíjense bien lo que están viendo en la diapositiva. Cuando se ocupan los subject pronouns, que los tenemos acá, o sea, lo más pequeño, y cuando ocupamos los object pronouns. Está lloviendo fuerte acá, por si acaso perdemos conexión, les aviso. Esperemos que no. Ajá. Idalia. Cuando señalamos a algo. Cuando señalamos algo. No, not really. Thank you. Marina. Eh, yo veo ahí por que, que en los subject pronoun está antes del no, de conocer, y después los otros nombres está después. Ajá. ¿Y qué, ¿Y qué clase de palabra es no? Un verbo. Conocer. Correcto. Correcto. Entonces, ¿la regla sería? Que los subjects estarían antes del verbo y los objects después del verbo. Correct. Ok, that's the rule. We use subject pronouns before the verb. I know, we know, you know, he knows, she knows, they know. And you use the object pronouns after the verb, knows me, knows us, knows you, knows him, knows her, knows them. Esa es la regla. Se utilizan los subject pronouns antes del verbo y los object pronouns van después del verbo cuando son el objeto de ese verbo. ¿Ok? Esa es la regla, ¿verdad? Si usted tiene que utilizarlo antes del verbo, ocupe un subject pronoun. Si va después del verbo, entonces es un object pronoun. Por eso es que la gente, bueno, a mí ya me han preguntado, me dicen, teacher, ¿cómo es? ¿Es you and me o es you and I? Y la respuesta es, ambas existen. Solo que depende cuál sea. Si usted ocupa you and I, entonces son subject pronouns. Si usted dice you and me, son object pronouns. Ambas existen. Para iniciar una oración, 
¿cuál tendría que utilizar? ¿You and me o you and I? ¿Quién me sabría decir? Si vamos a iniciar. You, ajá. you and I. You and I. Podemos decir, you and I are good friends. This will be correct. Why? Because we are using you, the subject pronoun, and I, the subject pronoun. Okay. Digamos que somos hermanos y decimos que nuestros papás nos quieren mucho. Decimos mom and dad love you and me. Aquí ocupamos object pronouns porque va después del verbo. This is object pronoun you and object pronoun me. Look, there's the object pronoun you and the object pronoun me. Okay? Now, uh, what about things? What about the things? Look, the subject pronoun is it, and the object pronoun is it also. Okay? Same spelling. But now, in plural, the subject pronoun is they, and the object pronoun is them. You have two examples. Look. She says, it's nice. I like it. He said, está bonito. He said, me gusta. It's nice. I like it. The first it is a subject pronoun because it's, it is before the verb. It's nice. And after that, I like it. Like is a verb. So it is an object pronoun. But now look at this. They are nice. I like them. Están bonitos. Me gustan los zapatos. So, they're nice. I like them. You see? They comes before the verb be. Subject pronoun. Them comes after the verb like. Object pronoun. Okay? Recordemos también que... Un cuestión. Si no estamos participando... Tenemos que tener el micrófono desactivado. Okay. Okay, so um, acordémonos que they no es exclusivo para personas. Puede ser para cosas también. Si está en plural, como zapatos. They. So you have some examples. I say, I don't want this book. You can have it. Te lo puedes quedar. You can have it. I don't want these books. You can have them. Te los puedes quedar. You can have them. Diane never drinks milk. She doesn't like it. I never go to parties. I don't like them. Okay? Mucho cuidado. Books, plural. That's why you say them. Parties, that's plural also. That's why you say them. But book and milk, book is singular. You use it. And milk is uncountable. That's why you use it. Do you have any questions about this? Do you have any questions about this? Alguna duda o consulta? Okay, Luis. Que no solo lo puedo dejar. You can have. You can have. She doesn't like. I don't like. Mm, single, single object pronoun. Sí. ¿Eh? No. Porque le faltaría el objeto al verbo. Uh -huh. Si estoy hablando del mismo objeto, no importa que lo repita con el object pronoun. Es que de hecho el pronoun sirve para sustituir. Por ejemplo, en vez de decir this book, decimos it. En vez de decir these books, decimos them. Entonces, esa es la función del pronombre, sustituir al nombre. Por lo tanto, es válido. I don't want this book, you can have it. I don't want these books, you can have them. 
So you need it. It's necessary. Yes, teacher. Thanks. Okay, you're welcome. Isaac Adbunay. <clears throat> Así como anteriormente estábamos empleando lo que era once y once. Ajá, así es. One and once son... Uh -huh. Del objeto y este se, a su vez este, lo venía a reemplazar. Así es, porque one and once también son pronombres. Así es. Correcto. Okay. Gracias. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's the idea of a pronoun. Esto es lo que hacen los pronouns. Reemplazan algo que ya mencionamos o que el interlocutor ya conoce de antemano. Okay, let's do this. Okay, now look, we use object pronouns after a preposition. So you know that you use object pronouns after a verb, but also you use, and also, sorry, you use object pronouns after a preposition. And what are the prepositions? Prepositions include for, to, with, etc. Okay, now, veamos acá. Perdón que la letra esté tan pequeña. A preposition is a word, and almost always a very small, very common word that shows direction. For example, a letter to you. To is a preposition. Location. At the door. At is a preposition. Or time. By noon. By is a preposition. Or that introduces an object. A basket of apples. Of is a preposition. Prepositions are typically followed by an object which can be a noun, like noon, a phrase, the door, or a pronoun, like you. So when do we use object pronouns? You use object pronouns also after a preposition. Okay? Van a ocupar los object pronouns después del verbo y después de una preposición. Ambos casos. Examples. This letter isn't for me. It's for you. And I think I have to change something here. Right. Okay. This letter isn't for me. It's for you. Now look for preposition. So you use object pronoun. For, it's a preposition. So you use the object pronoun you. Who is that woman? Why are you looking at her? La novia celosa. Who is that woman? Why are you looking at her? Okay, at is a preposition. Her is the object pronoun. We're going to the movies. Do you want to come with us? With is a preposition. So you use us. ¿Qué significa? Que usted no va a decir, do you want to come with we? ¿Verdad? Entonces, ya no estaría correcto porque with es una preposition. Así que vamos a ocupar un object pronoun y no un subject pronoun. Sue and Kevin are going to the movies. Do you want to go with them? With is a preposition, so you use the object pronoun them. And uh, where's the newspaper? You are sitting on it. Está sentado en él. You're sitting on it. On is a preposition. It is the object pronoun. Okay? So remember, you use object pronouns after verbs and after prepositions. Okay, those two cases, that's very important. You can say, give it and give them to. Now look, both things happen here. I need that book. Please give it to me. Aquí están ambos casos. Si usted se fija, dice, give it to me. Aparece el object pronoun it después del verbo give. Y aparece el object pronoun me después de la preposition to. Ambos casos están aquí. Give it to me. So. Dámelo. El libro, ¿verdad? Dámelo. Give it to me. Robert needs these books. Can you give them to him, please? Again, you have the verb give. After the verb, you use the object pronoun them. Then you have the preposition to. And then you use the object pronoun him. Se los puedes dar? ¿Verdad? Can you give them to him, please? Do you understand? I'm going to share this with you. Bueno, eh, no había compartido el anterior. Le voy a pasar el anterior también.
Sorry, just a moment. Okay, it's on WhatsApp now. And this one too. Okay, do you have any questions about this? Una duda o consulta sobre este tema? Object pronouns? No? Okay. Then you show me. Complete the sentences with an object pronoun. Number one. Who can tell me? Only object pronouns, remember. Hola, compañeros, estamos por ahí. No me digan que se durmieron. Ajá. Idalia. Uh, I don't know those girls. Do you know girls? Okay. Uh, those girls are two, three or more people. Um... Her, if it's only one. But in this case, when you say those girls, that's plural. So you need a different object pronoun. Um, Ajá. Second try. Segundo intento. Veamos, Idalia. I don't know those girls. Do you know? Do you know them? Do you know them? That is correct. Yes. Ajá. Porque al decir those girls es they. Mm. So, I don't know those girls. Do you know them? Las conoces, right? Good. Thank you, Idalia. Number two. Who wants to try? Number two, please. Marina, and then Miguel for number three. The microphone, Marina. Do you know that man? Do you know him? I don't know that man. Do you know him? Okay, correct. Thank you. Miguel Antonio, number three. I don't know choose people. I do you know us take a look i don't know those people esas personas i don't know those people do you know um, them do you know them okay correct them. i don't know those Thank people you. you're welcome do you know I them have a, I have have a, a question. what's your question ¿Cuál es, cuál es la diferencia entre us y them para poderlo utilizar bien the difference is the subject pronoun is we, the object pronoun is us. For the subject pronoun they, the object pronoun is them. That's the difference. Oh, okay. La diferencia es que uno <laughs> es nosotros y el otro ellos. Y hay una canción oh, okay. de, de Pink Floyd que se llama Us and Them. Para los que gustan de ese tipo de música. Okay. All okay, right. Thank you. You're welcome. Number four, Ada Verónica Muñoz de Fuentes. I don't know David's wife. Do you know her? I don't know David's wife. Do you know her? Correct. Very good. Very nice. Okay, number five. What time is it? 8.51. It's late. Okay, so number five. Um, who knows number five? Miguel Antonio. I don't know Mr. Vasquez. I don't, I do, do, don't. Do you know, do you know? Do you know uh, him? Do you know him? Correct. I don't know Mr. Vasquez. Do you know him? Thank you, Miguel. Very good. Number six. Luis Alfredo. I don't know Russell's parents. Do you know them? Do you know them? Correct. Very good. Thank you, Luis. Number seven.
vamos, animémonos a participar porque siempre participan las mismas personas. Ada Verónica. I don't know the woman in the black dress. Do you know it? We're talking about the woman, not the black dress. Uh, do you know her? Correct. Do you know her? Uh -huh. I don't know the woman in the black dress. Do you know her? Thank you. Okay, correct. Number eight, Luis Alfredo, and then number nine, Idalia. I don't know the answer. Do you know it? Do you know it? Okay, that's correct. I don't know the answer. Do you know it? And number nine, Idalia. I don't know the rules. The rules. The rule. Do you know rules? Mm, the rules on las reglas. Uh, uh, do so, you know it? No. It, if it's singular, but the rules is a plural noun. X. X. Mm, no, sorry. It's a bit different. Uh, Marjorie. I don't know the rules. Do you know them? Do you know them? Correct. Okay. I don't know the rules. Do you know them? No conozco las reglas. ¿Las conoces? Do you know them? Okay, very good. Those are object pronouns for you. Another exercise. Look. Complete the sentences with subject pronouns or object pronouns. Here you have to use both types of pronouns, subject and object. Now look. Here's an example. I want to see her, but she doesn't want to see me. Yo la quiero ver, pero ella no me quiere ver a mí. So, I want to see her, but she doesn't want to see me. Okay? What about number two? Who knows? Luis Alfredo. Number two. Yes. They want to see me, but I don't want to see them. They want to see me, but I don't I want, to, don't see want them. to see them. Okay. Very good. Thank you. They want to see me, but I don't want to see them. Miguel Antonio, number three. She want to see him. Wow. And she does want to uh, her. Okay. Uh, not exactly. It's a bit different. Okay, Sorry. but thank you. It's okay. Don't worry. Okay. Number three. Who, who can help us with this one? Luis Alfredo. No, pero Luis Alfredo nos dijo la anterior. Wow, wow, wow. No, no, hombre. De la oportunidad a otro. <laughs> ok, Marina. Thank you, Luis. Thank you very much. Marina. Uh, Marina, su micrófono. She wants to see him, but he doesn't want to see her. He wants, she wants to see him, but he doesn't want to see her. Correct. Ella lo quiere ver a él, pero él no la quiere ver a ella. Okay. She wants to see him, but he doesn't want to see her. Good. What about number four? Thank you, Marina. Number four. Uh, mm -hmm. Yo que participo en la número cuatro. Uh, no, anybody. Okay, I need a volunteer. <laughs> uh, okay. Bueno. A la Verónica. Okay. Um, we want to see them, but we don't. We don't want to see us. Mm, there's no. a problem sorry look we want to see them but 
I Ajá. don't want to see us. No, not really, not really. It's a bit different. Okay. But, but thank you, Ada. Thank you for your participation. Who wants to try? Number four. Luis Alfredo. We want to see them both. Uh, but they don't want to see us. I, we want to see them, but they don't want to see us. Okay. okay. Nosotros queremos verlos a ellos, pero ellos no nos quieren ver a nosotros. Okay. We want to see them, but they don't want to see us. Okay. Good. What about number five? If you know, please raise your hand. Maria Magdalena. He wants to see us, but uh, she don't want to see her. Mm, no, sorry. It's a bit, it's, it's different. Okay. Say, he wants to see us. Okay, Consuelo Enriqueta. Aprovechando, le voy a poner asistencia aquí a Consuelo Enriqueta. Okay, thank you, okay. teacher. All right, so Consuelo um, Enriqueta. I think is he wants to see us, but we don't want to see him. We He wants to see us, but we don't want to see him. Él nos quiere ver a nosotros, pero nosotros no lo queremos ver a él. He wants to see us, but we don't want to see him. Okay, good. Thank you, Consuelo. Number six. Who knows the answer? Idalia. Uh, they, they want to see her, but she doesn't want to see them. They want to see her, but she doesn't want to see them. Correct. Thank you, Idalia. Very good. Marina, number seven. I want to see them, but they don't want to see me. I want to see them, but they don't want to see me. Correct. Very good. Okay, nice. Very nice. So, uh, what's next? Number eight, volunteer. Thank you. Anybody? You want to see her, but she doesn't want to see me. Are you sure? She doesn't want to see you. Aha, you want to see her, but she doesn't want to see you. Se vos la querés ver a ella, pero ella no te quiere ver a vos. Okay? You want to see her, but she doesn't want to see you. Okay, there you go. Voy a pasar este ejercicio porque veo que está un poquito... Sería buena práctica, así que se lo voy a poner por acá. En el chat. Uy, no, yo se la iba a pasar al que no era. Wait a second. Step up. Okay. Okay. Object, well, no. <laughs> ya se nos acabó el tiempo prácticamente. So, um... Let's see. I'm just going to call the attendance one more time. There are a couple of people who haven't uh, responded. Uh, Luis Enrique Palma Alvarado, are you here? Luis Enrique Palma Alvarado? Luis Enrique Palma Alvarado, you here? No. Okay. Oscar Alexander Dominguez Herrera. Oscar Alexander Dominguez Herrera. Oscar Mauricio Rivera Aguilar. Oscar Mauricio Rivera Aguilar. 
Ajá, por acá me quieren participar. El usuario del Huawei P20, por favor. Me está levantando la mano, dígame por acá. ¿Es usted Oscar Mauricio Rivera Aguilar? Ajá, perfecto. Eso es lo que quería averiguar. Oscar Mauricio, ¿verdad? Que dice que está en el área de parto. Pero ese es el problema. Lo que pasa es que me aparece como Huawei P20. Entonces, son dos Óscares, no sé cuál es. Ok, perfecto. Ah, Pero ¿cuál de los dos Óscares? ¿Es Óscar Alexander o Óscar Mauricio? ¿Me puede indicar, por favor, por mensaje? Óscar Mauricio, ahí está. Thank you. Hoy sí, salimos de la duda. Everybody, thank you very much, and I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.